that fee. And landlords, guess what? You're paying water and wastewater charges. You're paying for the infrastructure debt charge on that bill. If the service is not working there, if there's nothing to be made, why be taking everyone's money? And this is, so it's, it's, this issue is, it's kind of like you have responsibility, responsibility, responsibility on landlords, and this one that they just knocked on us in 2010, it pushed us everybody over the edge. And I hope you would agree that it did push you over the edge to start doing something, start speaking up, like, we need to start being loud, and like, the tenants, they have protests with slumlords, like, hey! And like, well, we need to be hey. <laughs> and this is why I gathered here you tonight, so that you can hear from professionals that we we have we're working on it. But it's not we can't leave it up to the big guys either. We got to keep going in little tiny pockets all over the cities. We're getting I'm getting phone calls from Mississauga, ones from Ottawa. I hope they have a good long distance bill. I, I keep them on there for about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then they then they hang up pretty quick. <laughs> But I just, I, I just can't stress enough how this policy is in play. It is turning. It is flipping. It's different in other municipalities. And it's just a matter of time before another city looks at what the other city's doing and like the provinces are doing. The provinces are looking at other provinces. Because on, on, Ontario, that's not the only place people are fighting this. Fighting. Like, landlords are fighting. It's Winnipeg, Alberta, the states, like, UK. It's everywhere. So now we, they're looking at us.